myself right now of coffee on the rocks. Coffee on the rocks. Constitutes breakfast. Constitutes breakfast. <clears throat> I had what looked like um, one of those fire helicopters flying over a few minutes ago. I just stood out in the clear and let myself the scene as we came around. Maybe the air look looking for a fire. I don't know. Last year when I was up here, I was watching a helicopter battling the fire over there for a couple of hours. A couple of hours they were at it. Yeah, like we literally just came straight up over that way. Kind of cold there to get a look in. Get them a little wave. Get them a little wave. There was a little sprinkle of rain there as well. Just before the helicopter appeared. You know. Um, yesterday afternoon it was supposed to rain. Two o'clock to four o'clock or something and it didn't. And as I said earlier, it was just on and off all night it was raining. The rain hitting the tent actually woke me up. It took me about 20 minutes to do that for. 20 minutes I'd say. From shopping to cook. 20 minutes. I said at the start of the summer I was going to give these up because I didn't give them up at Christmas because I'm a wally I'm a wally the intention is there it's there I know the camera's picking the hazy rain up hazy rain Refill for the coffee, huh? There's some really dark grey clouds over there. Blown over Wicklow Town. I don't think I've ever seen the fields in the distance there. Looking that golden. It's always been green. I have this coffee and uh, fry up a few sausages, some eggs, some rashers maybe. I should be in there doing it now, tending to the fire. Nice chilled one last night. A few beers. Pumped for the butter in Australia. Messing out the fire. I don't think I 
got much footage then last night. Once I had the tunes on, that was that. Industrial techno from Birmingham and BBC Six Sounds. It's like a little mini rave without all the lights. British motor boys. Getting this feeling that someone's gonna come up and tell me the news. I had it last night as I was setting the fire, getting everything ready, and then I was like, ah, It's getting dark, there's no way they're gonna come up this hour tonight. But as I was chopping the wood, it looked like there was a flash of torch came in through the branches. It was just this weird light I seen. I don't know, was it breaking the clouds or something like that? I don't think it was. It's too late for that. Yeah. Just a flash of light out of the corner of my eye. And at that point I was using the axe taking little twigs off here. Off a branch. We was stopped and I listened for a few minutes, but I heard nothing. That could have been about half nine, maybe. Yeah, that kind of had me freaked out for about twenty minutes. I think if someone was gonna appear up to get out, they'd be here by now. Stealth cap. Two or three times we've been caught. Up here. Two or three times. Years ago, years ago. Very bad, very bad. Getting in here yesterday was the funniest. Having to dive into a fucking ditch. I am saying that sore today, there's a couple of little red blotches here and there. Off my elbow, I'll scrape up to bits. Oh, there. A plastic bag with a few beers in it. It's 12 beers, 6 for last night, 6 for today. And they just start sliding down, sliding down, sliding down. Two or three meters into the ditch they went and my bag was just pulling me and pulling me and pulling me and pulling me and your man gets out of the car and I have his jeep talking on the phone and I'm just sliding I'm holding on to roots my arms dug into thorns and nettles and everything I'm literally after having to dive into this bush off the fucking trail out there just as I turned the corner of the old houses I seen a jeep driving up the road. I had to dive in here. Wait for him to open the gate. Move his car. Get back out. Close the gate behind him. It's only about 10 minutes to go that way. Fucking. Right. Madness, madness. I think this will be the last time I'm coming up here. Because of the old real house that used to be there, that's all fixed up now and painted and all sorts. So there'll probably be someone moving into it. 
hard to get stumped bits by nettles. Fucking hell. Still a bit stingy, but like, I was just hoping that I just didn't actually tumble, tumble, and make a big noise that you'd hear. On the phone, gets out of the Jeep, opens the gate, gets back into the Jeep, drives the gate, drives the Jeep through the gate, gets back out, ties the gate, and yeah, he just he stood there talking for a couple of minutes. Well, I think he was standing there, I couldn't even see him. I could just see the tail light of the Jeep, and maybe the bumper, something chrome anyway. But, um, Last year when I came up, there was no gate. In the old house, all renovated. It was all getting done up last year. It was, just, it was still open. There was no doors or windows on it. You could walk in and out of it. I walked in and had to look around just to see. But this year, there's windows and doors on it. And there's water gone into it. And there's power lines hanging around it. But as I got up to the gate, I looked at it and I was like, go over it, untie it, because it was only a little loop on it. I'll go around it. And I looked and I was like, right, I'll be able to get around it. When lucky I walked around it, because I had it been tying it, and I had me back to the road. Within like 30 seconds of getting around the gate, I just seen the Jeep and its lights flickering through the trees. And I was just like, MacGyver into the into the ditch. MacGyver into the ditch. I didn't care where I landed or what I landed on. Bar wire, fucking spiky fence, whatever. Give it to me. Straight in. No kiss. <coughs> Trying not to wince. Two minutes before that, I was standing on the trail. Not even two minutes. A minute maybe. And I was listening to a little deer barking. I was like, this is lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> this is lovely. There's deer everywhere. Anyway, that's that. Think about this misty rain. and disguise the smoke from my fire. You see the hills in the distance now over there. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, my arms need that.
last year out in these rocks. These buzzards are all flying around. I call them buzzards, I don't know what they were. On my way up here yesterday, I was walking up the road. And just down the corner of my road, I seen some bird prey. Big, big bird. Big bird. And it was like it had a fork in its tail. I know kites have them. But it looked like it had like two white feathers sticking off the end of its tail. Similar to a kite. I must look it up when I go home and see what it is. The foil copter back. I think it's a foil copter. I don't know if you can see the <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, the muscle with that board was really big. I don't know the markings of all the, the boards of prey here. There's a guy I follow on TikTok, on the Bob Outdoors TikTok. If you're on TikTok, go out and have a look. Go out and have a look. But, um, yeah, there's an Irish guy. Goes around all over the country looking at things. Otters, squirrels, different birds, everything. Well, he was going off to Rattling Island. Rattling Island, the most northernest island in Ireland. If my memory is right. Anyway, he was going off there to look at some kind of, I don't know, with the eagles or hawks or something. I'll have a look at his channel just to see if the birds are on it that I'm thinking of. Hopefully that helicopter spotted me out here as well, just to make sure. Black t-shirt, Lonsdale, with a camera pointing at you. I think you'd know. Nothing to be worried about. Heli chopper. Heli chopper. I think it was maybe two, three hours, probably more. Last uh, summer I was watching, going off, getting a big bucket of water from up, up that way, coming back, and I could see him just pull up out of the trees and go, dump it, do a little loop, go back. Pick up another bucket, go back, dump it, loop back. And he was just doing that, on and off, for hours. I think at one point he, he went off to get refueled, and then came back. Burger. I forget the name of the woods over there.
sausages. Hopefully there's a nice little bit of embers there. Get a sizzle going. Get a sizzle going. Come on, I take you with me. specimen of a tree cypress 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 something like that I forget how you tell the needles the needles to be flat or they're square or they're pointy that's a way to tell them apart. Jesus, I don't know, I forget. This one here. One of them. <sighs> Sweet chestnuts. That's what I think it is. Not the horse chestnut, the sweet chestnut. The holly. All the leaves are round on it. All the leaves are round on it. Bar the lower ones. After breakfast, maybe go get that chaga on it. Well, the lump of birch that has the chaga on it, and then I come back and prop it in, prop it up against one of these other ones that's in here and see if the spores go to it nature's inoculation careful now ouch as I put my hand into some thorns there's just loads of wood in there Let's get cooking.
I'm gonna go see if I can find that charger again. Oh, well, I think it's charger. A little disorientated, I'd say, in around here. Direction points. Fine big rock. Fine big rock. So I came up over this hill yesterday, which means the target is up that way. And hopefully don't get spotted. I found one mushroom in the camp. I don't know what it is though. No idea. So many cool spots to come. So many. You really want it? Huh? It's a nice little view. I'll never put that here. I just wanted to see if there was any motion going in that thing. That's all I wanted to.
Let's hide out some powder cars then, so there's some. I was getting wood up there yesterday evening and we spotted some hammer over today to have a look. I'm not going to follow that trail anyway. I'm going to go up over this way. See what's fucking in the brush. I think we're close to where I fell. The Chaga. There's a stump over there. That I left a piece of round on it. So I think, I think the Chaga's on the other side of that hill. Oh, this is exhausting stuff. Look at all this shit. I do not go she. And then I have to collect this wood and then bring it back. Mental. I was thinking from mountainous skull on. It's a lot of moisture in it though. There's a lot of weight on it. It's real thin that's why it uh, wouldn't be wood carrying out of here. My head just crack and spit and the same as the last one. Even though it was like raining last night, and I just left that sitting on top of that, still dried out a fair bit. Did I see it? I thought it was this hill. <sighs> after the after I bumped into the farm yesterday, legged down this track and in here. I thought that's where we I seen the chaga. I'm away. Anyway, I'll find it. It's around here somewhere. I just have to backstep it. Finally found it. There's a few beers, beers around here. Doesn't seem to be any ground on this one. I've been in here before. That's just a sheer drop off over there. Yeah, I actually walked all the way across that. All the way around to the camp. I don't know if it was last year. 
Don't think even the time for that. Whew, yeah, anyway. I recognise this little spot. Like old talk it has. Don't see any on these. There is a bracket fungus on it there. Maybe if I take this and put it over where the camp is on one of them trees. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right, well, I'll leave it there at that because things are getting a bit shaky here. Nestled in there, kind of shaded and stuff. Um, yeah, should be all right there. See what happens. The spores spread off to the other tree. What a chance! Rather than just leaving it up there to decay, give it a bit of a chance to take hold there. Right, want to go chill out now. Melting, melting out. There's a deer over there, and he's just walking around the edge of my camp. You're not going to see him, though. I can see his little arse walking around. Someone up there, someone up that way messing around with a chainsaw. Chicken spuds and gravy. Saturday night. I had to charge my phone there for ages and back stuff up to the cloud. Yeah. Yeah, it's about half ten now. Something like that anyway. Uh, I got a whack in the eye of a branch earlier. So everything was kind of on a go slow. Had a little adventure and stuff today and um, yeah. I well, didn't do much stuff there this evening. I was just like processing wood and stuff. Moon out there. I was delimbing this and whack. Got a fucking branch in the eye. So that I just I sat down for a little while, put me sunglasses on because the light was irritating. Those little beams were just like all blurry and stretched out when I closed an eye and look at it. Even if I do it now, it's still blurry, so I wouldn't be surprised if I have a, if I have a fucking bloodshot eye in the morning. Um, it was a lot sorer earlier. I just put my sunglasses on. The, the forest got extra dark, so it did extra dark. Uh, yeah, no optrex in the emergency kit. 
or Israeli bandages. <laughs> An Israeli bandage for me, I. Um, spuds are nearly done anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the only thing is with it, I don't know how I'm going to do the grey because I fuck all water there and if I use my cup to make the gravy well then I've no water to wash the cup out in order for me to have coffee in the morning but uh, I'll finish, I'll figure something out anyway my eyes wreck my head I don't think it's cut I could be wrong though but I don't think my eyes cut it doesn't feel cut but yeah bang a little fucking one of those little twiggy things caught me in the right in the retina right in the retina Um, I was out in the rock there this evening just chilling out minding my own business before I'd even done the fire someone was up there fucking messing around with a chainsaw a couple of deer came down Um, I was just sitting there I could hear a crunch 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 over this direction and they came around the camp, literally came up in there, like close to the whole lot, but moved on. Uh, there was one still up there crunching around, but I just got fed up trying to film them because you couldn't really see them with all that stuff, um, all that, all the ferns and whatever. You could, you could just about make them out. Well, I knew they were there, but I tried to film it, but you couldn't see them. They were that camouflaged. But anyways, the one that was up there, I just came down into the campsite and started making a bit of noise, scared them off. Um, yeah, that dinner will be done there in a couple of minutes, so get that into me. As I said, it's just, that eyeball just set me back a while. I didn't want to be doing that because the light was triggering it. It's just, yeah, I didn't want to light the fire and then have to start cooking wanted to settle into the pain of it and see what way it was going to go. It was too late anyway at that stage to even leave the forest and go to a chemist or whatever. None of that. I don't know. Yeah, so I'll see in the morning. I'll get a selfie and have a look at my eyeball. Hopefully it's not a big red thing. Um, but yeah, anyways... Maybe I'll show you my dinner. Maybe I won't. Bye. Update is... We burnt the spuds. We burnt the spuds. Um, maybe the fire was too hot. We didn't put enough water in. I don't know. But if you know, you know. You can't eat burnt spuds. Good luck. And good night. Where's the chicken? The chicken's juicy. Chicken is juicy. Oh yeah. Shame about the spuds though. This'll do.
where I nearly got caught yesterday on Friday. I dived in there as I was wanting down. Just seen the lights of the Jeep around the corner. I dived in there. It comes up, it pulls up. Head lights to the Yeah. 